If you haven't figured it out by now, the job of the media is to divert your attention from what's really being said in the article to something else. They're propagandists, they're masters at deception, and this article is no different. Dairy Queen burgers are not made of human meat, store confirms after Fed Swarm Restaurant. There is a message in every story the media makes, but they're going to do their dead level best to try to get you to fall for some sort of conspiracy theory, to look the other way, while they're actually sending a hidden message. These stories have a purpose. And just constantly say Illuminati did it, and that sort of thing is in itself a conspiracy theory. It's interesting, look, McDonald's, Popeyes, KFC, uh, fried pizza, and then up here, Dairy Queen. All these things seem to go together, don't they? They're really trying to steer your attention towards looking into all these restaurants for some reason, huh? Isn't that interesting? Well, Dairy Queen's burgers are not made of human meat. So what are, what are we actually talking about here? Through Gematria, the, the way they send these uh, hidden messages in, in the media without telling you what they're really trying to say, uh, it's, it's kind of like this. Look now, people have lived it, like we're going to get into, they're going to know the message without the numbers. But if you don't, you can decode it like this. Okay, look. Restaurant, okay. Of course, Dairy Queen is a restaurant, right? It's 137 and 70. Okay, you see that? 137 and 70. And they blamed this. Uh, they said, well, actually, the uh, the police came in and they found um, somebody doing an illegal money transfer business. Hmm, so, okay, so you look at that and you go money transfer you just punch in the words just as you see them in the article. It's not like you have to, you know, make up anything or anything like that. It's just, they're always right there. Look, money transfer, 173, restaurant, 137. Money transfer, 70, restaurant, 70. So you see they're paired up, see. Now, this, by the way, this calculator, if you're ever looking for it, it's gamachinator.com. makes it really easy to just punch in a, a word and see the numbers. All right, and that's how they that's how they turn the the message into uh, they they hide the message behind the words. That's what I should say. So through numbers, they're hiding the real message that they're trying to send through numbers. All right, so now Dairy Queen, this particular Dairy Queen, fifty six and fifty two was in Greenwood, South Carolina. By the way, notice this one one nine. We'll come back to that. So this was in Greenwood, SC, which was also uh, 56 and 52, just like Dairy Queen. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. So you can see they've obviously matched this up, thought it through, put it together. All right. Now, look at South Carolina here. This is what was interesting. South Carolina reminded me when they started talking about human meat. If that, if that word sounds familiar and you've been into truth community if you want to call it that and you've you've looked at this before it probably reminded you of this story right here rabbi finkelstein who talked about how mcdonald's is serving uh human meat in all of its burgers i don't know if this guy's telling the truth or not it's very possible he may be that's not the topic all what all that is going on here though is that they're intentionally trying to steer you toward that Topic. You're supposed to find that, okay? There's no question that that, in my mind, that that's the direction that they're trying to send you. Look, Rabbi Finkelstein is 156 and 75, and it's just, just like just like South Carolina. You see 156, 156, 75, and the reverse 57. So there's no question that they were intentionally trying to get you to think of that. And then, you know, it's talking about human meat, you know, human is uh, 57 as well, like South Carolina, Rabbi Finkelstein, the reverse, 75. Uh, South Carolina is also 78, and human is, uh, oops, I missed my H, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> human, human is 78 and 57, sorry if I confused anybody. So, and then they also said the Dairy Queen, you look at the sign on the Dairy Queen, and they were calling it the grill and chill, you know, like it could be human meat or whatever. Yeah, so grill and chill, right? And, um, let's see, I think, uh, yeah, I don't think that hand is actually on there. I think that's why. Yeah, 
that because there's no hand on the sign. I don't think it's just a symbol. Let's see. I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's just an and symbol. That's why. Yeah. So you got a 57 there for a grill and chill. Okay, so human is 57, grill and chill 57, South Carolina 57, and Rabbi Finkelstein, the reverse is 75. So obviously they're trying to divert your attention to get you confused by some ridiculous conspiracy theory. It may not be ridiculous altogether. You can go and watch the Rabbi Finkelstein video and decide whether or not you want to believe that. But don't get caught up in getting misdirected uh, from the real intention of this story. Now, the it's also interesting. Okay, we were talking about how restaurant was 137. Okay, restaurant. How far down did I go? 137. Well, you know, JFK was murdered on the 1037th day in office. So you take the zero out of the 1037, and you're left with 137. Now remember, this is talking about uh, human meat. That's an idea of a picture of murder, right? A picture of somebody being killed. And JFK was killed on the 1037th day in office. And the word total eclipse equals 137, by the way. And that's not an accident either, okay? Because when we look at the solar eclipse, and we see that the solar eclipse that was before this story... Okay, that was on the 183rd day of the year, and this story was on the 238th day of the year. So you got the 83 and the 38, which most of us know if we've been in this very long are the numbers for murder. Okay, so we're, we're, we're definitely talking about 83 and 38. So we're definitely talking about something being related to a murder. And it's, it's interesting that restaurant and JFK on the 1037th day in office and the 137 of the total eclipse, they all seem to be related. Even the money transfer story, money transfer being 173. Uh, so, but uh, also you might see that, you know, restaurants 38 too. You know, rest, restaurants 38 like murder. But now we're going to get into who I think was murdered. Now, it's interesting that South Carolina, the Senator's Lindsey Graham, is also related somewhere down the line. I couldn't find the exact connection. I tried to look for it, but I'm sure somewhere he's related to Bob Graham of Florida. Now, isn't it interesting that the guy I'm always talking about, Hugh Squire here, when he's talking about the Graham in Florida, he says, Oh, you, sp you spoke too much, Senator Graham on uh, Fox News. I'm going to prove to you, you set me up on the Manning Farm and then you had my wife killed with your retired state cop at the Johnson City Hospital you was supposed to be a security guard in. I'm not your bottom line. Bottom line is the name of uh, Hughes um, Publishing Company that was destroyed on 9-11. Remember how I told you we'd get back to 9-11? Isn't that interesting? Oh, and when was Bob Graham born, by the way? Oh, he was born on 11-9 the reverse of that. You think that's a coincidence? No. Okay, 9-11 was done to take, uh, largely done to take this man's trademark uh, bottom line, okay? And anyway, so I'm not your bottom line. Victoria, who was um, Hugh's wife, was permanently disabled and in a wheelchair and couldn't even ask for help. And that's when uh, Bob Graham had a part in having her murdered. So here's a story in Lindsey Graham's area of South Carolina where the restaurant um, talking about murder and human meat and I'm sure Lindsey Graham and Bob Graham are in some way related to each other but it's also interesting that Hugh sometimes talks about how Lindsey Graham makes threats to his family members uh, somewhere near North or South Carolina something like that so I'm sure there's a connection between all of that hmm so let's see, we were talking about, uh, yeah, and, and uh, just to verify that a little more, Lindsey Graham, Lindsey Graham is 136, and we just said that restaurant is 137, and Lindsey Graham is also 71, and restaurant is 70, and we said money transfer was also 70, and remember, one away, if you remember that rule of Kalel, just one difference means the same thing. So 70 or 71 means the same thing. So 
we have that, and then we have the um, the reporter of the story here back on Fox News is Dara. This is usually how, if you're not sure what story they're trying to say, always look up the reporter's name because they tend to match the reporter's name with the the message they're trying to tell in the story. So if you always look them up, it tends to sometimes help guide you to what's actually going on uh, in the story, what the hidden message really is. Well, here's Nicole Dara. Um, D-A-R-A-H, Nicole Dara, and uh, she has 216 and 72 right here, and Lindsey Graham, look how close it is, uh, 63 and 64, 215, 216, 71, 72, so you can tell that the story is somehow connected to Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, there's no doubt about that, the, the the Dairy Queen was in South Carolina. Lindsey Graham's the senator of South Carolina, and it's about murder. So, and there, and other Grahams have been responsible for a murder on Hughes um, family members. So, it just stands to reason that this story, which is by the way being put out by Fox News, this guy right here used to own Fox News before it was Fox News, before Rupert Murdoch owned it. Okay, so it stands to reason that they would be saying these kinds of things. Now, isn't it interesting also that Nicole Dara is 108, and the uh, other Graham, his full name, Daniel, the one in uh, Florida, or Daniel Robert Graham, is 108 also. Hmm. I also found it just fascinating, on a side note, how we were all worried about the um, Golden Gate Bridge going down on 811, and... Bob Graham uh, renamed the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, which had an accident, by the way, uh, and was destroyed uh, supposedly by a boat. A lot of people fell off the bridge and uh, died, but they renamed it on 1118, the reverse of 811. You can't get enough of the 1118s and the bridges. I still think the Golden Gate Bridge is going to fall at some point in the future. It just wasn't connected to Tisha Bob. But they've done enough pre uh, predictive programming that it shows me that at some point and in some connection to 118 or 108, there's going to be uh, some sort of collapse of the bridge. So all these things go together. They're well thought out by in colleges and universities of how to, how to run this country, how to put these people together, who to put what, in what office, by what names and what numbers. And it's just a never-ending vicious cycle. So don't get caught up in the conspiracy theory of thinking that it's just about uh, human meat. That may or may not be true. But that is not really what this story is about. It's about murder. And it's about a threat made to this guy. Okay. Uh, Hugh Francis Squire. So go look up his Facebook page. Get to know his story. It's the truth of 9-11. The truth of the Kennedy assassination. And so much more. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.